Here we are doing potentiometric error detector. Let me tell you what is first potentiometer. Potentiometer in potentiometer we give uh, we change uh, resistance by giving the displacement to the system, and what we get is the voltage output. So uh, this is the basic what is potentiometer. Now see here what is potentiometric error detector. We use two potentiometers in the potentiometric error detector. One is potentiometer one that will act as a set point to the error detector. Another is potentiometer two which acts as a feedback to the system. And then we get the error signal which is displayed in the voltage uh, display. Now see here the apparatus for the volt, uh, potentiometric error detector. We have I am switching on it. We have two types of excitation, DC excitation and AC excitation. Now I am doing for DC excitation first. My connections are, these are two potentiometers here, potentiometer 1 and potentiometer 2. We fix potentiometer 1 value and change the potentiometer 2 value, right? This potentiometer 1 value which is fixed is acting as a set point to the system, right? Now we will connect this error detector output with the display. This gives me the voltage difference. Now we change this potentiometer to value with an angle of 0, 30, 0, 30, 60 and so on and we get the voltage difference here. Now when I will give the AC excitation, I will have to connect mod demodulator in between. This demodulator Output is connected with the voltage display, uh, voltage display. This demodulator cancels the effect of carrier wave because now we are using AC. Now what we do here, the procedure is same. We fix the potentiometer one, potentiometer one value, and we change the potentiometer two value, 0, 30, 60, and so on, and we calculate the voltage difference here. So this is acting as a feedback. This is acting as a set point here. That's it.